Welcome back. It is Show Me The Music. What's going on, people? I go by the name of Draco. We are so happy to have some special guests in the building today. Now, I want to give them a proper introduction, all right? Now, this R&B group, not only are they siblings, but they have been doing their thing for some time now. They hail from St. Louis, Missouri. Right now, they are in Los Angeles, California, doing their thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have none other than Q-Trail. What's up? How y'all doing, man? Thanks for having us. Now, first of all, man, this live show that I just saw, I know you couldn't have the audience that you wanted, man, but how was that live show feeling, man, connecting with the audience virtually? How did that feel? Yo, that good, was, yeah. That was it good. still like the same energy. Yeah, that was exactly. yeah, we performed in a minute, too, so, like, doing that for the fans and everybody felt good mm -hmm. for us, you know? We had to, you know, we had to do something for y'all. Yeah. Most definitely. Now, when it came to performing, then how was the process to even practice and rehearse? Because, like I said, the audience is different, man. You you're performing in front of a virtual audience. I mean, we have to, it, it's kind of the same because we're performing for the camera. Yeah. And so, but we have to just, a little stuff here and there we have to change because it's not a live audience. Yeah. Uh, we can't like sing for the girls like in their faces, you know? But the, <laughs> we have to just adjust it for the camera. And you know, crowd reaction, you know? So, yeah. yeah. So we just have to really keep our energy up, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. You guys are young, but you have already an old soul from what I'm looking at and the vibe is crazy because the record that you guys just put out, Lady in My Life, right now, you killed it. Congratulations on that, by the way. Thank you, Thank you man. You. That's out everywhere. So, yeah, everybody can go get that. Well, it's a, it's a Michael Jackson, originally a Michael Jackson song. So, we feel inspired to just take that idea and just make it our own. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah. It kind of just resonated with what we were talking about. Yeah. Me, and, me and Devon were talking about a, a certain girl, and uh, it kind of just resonated with us. It was crazy about that. When we recorded that song, we did it all within two weeks. So we recorded the song, made the choreography, yeah. then we did a music video all within two weeks. So mm -hmm. it was a crazy. Nice. Yeah, 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 it was crazy. Yeah, we did all the choreo and recorded it ourselves. Yeah. In two weeks, now the choreography was crazy, man. I wasn't even going to get into that timeline. But... Man, people, we're getting good responses from it on YouTube. We, mm -hmm. uh, the video's doing good right now. The concept really came from our dad. He like put it, kind of put it all together. Like he directed the video. We weren't alive during. We weren't alive when the song actually came out, so like we we had to use my dad's like you know knowledge of the times. I'm pretty sure y'all listened to it beforehand though, right? Yeah. Oh, 100. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, Mike is one of my biggest inspirations. Mm -hmm. Um, when it comes to the project, do you all have anything that you are looking to bring to the table as far as an EP or a project, or are you just pushing Lady in My Life right now? Uh, we pushing Lady in My Life right now because that's the single. Mm -hmm. But we are we do have an EP coming too, and that's probably gonna have about six or seven yeah, songs yeah. on it. We uh we have a couple snippets on our, our Instagram, but um nothing else really for later in my life. Mm -hmm. Got you. Okay. Now listen, the move to LA, man. How was that transition? I mean, uh, I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's different. It's cause like it's just like you know, St. Louis is like our hometown, so we always got love for St. Louis. Mm -hmm. But LA, it's just the difference is it's more opportunity. Mm. So like doing what doing what we do, it's a lot more opportunity for uh, like music and everything. Got you. So let's tap into the creative process with the music, man. How do you all even come up with concepts as far as songs? Do you all listen to the record first, the beat first? Are y'all putting pen to pad? Are y'all just talking about like you said the ladies beforehand? How do you come up with the concept when y'all in the studio? Uh, you should the beat first. Yeah. I'll it, produce the beat, okay. then I'll show them the beat, then this guy. Mm -hmm. the, we try to we try to we try to keep everything in house, so we try, mm -hmm. we all do something, you know. So we all we all pitch in. So you are uh, produce as well. Yeah, oh, yeah he's the producer. Yeah, he's to produce. He's the songwriter. I do the craft. Now I heard you guys are coming back to the crib soon. I don't know if that's a special announcement. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah soon. <laughs> but you know we gotta stop by. Oh yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys have plan for that when you come back to St. Louis? What you got planned? That song being directed by uh, Sonny Metcalf. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we know we're, 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 stopped. we're going back to St. Louis, then we're going to Atlanta, then we're going to Cleveland, a bunch of places. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Atlanta, yeah. yeah we got a couple uh, more radio shows to hear. We got some performances to do. And uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty busy. Now, the legendary Sonny Metcalf, man, if people don't know, you might want to know real soon. I mean, you working with a legend of sorts when it comes to what's going on in the city and what has been happening in the city in the past, man. How is it working with a manager such as Sonny? Uh, Sonny been here since day one, yeah. Yeah. Sonny, since we became a group. Yeah, Sonny most definitely family for us. So when it comes to, again, uh, coming back to St. Louis, will it be a live show? I mean, I heard some inklings, what you guys have planned, man. What's going on? Yeah, 
We're gonna do a live show. We're gonna do some radio, radio stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be we're gonna, we're gonna have fun, man. It's gonna be a lot. We're gonna push the lady in my life hard. So now, was that the first um, video that you guys have actually put out? That's not our first video, but it's our it's our first official. It's our first official. Yeah, it's our first yeah, official. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, it's our first video. Yeah. We never put music out before that. Mm -hmm. Right. So that was our first single. Mm -hmm. Got you. I got you. Okay. And you as brothers, I mean, are there, you guys are like, I would say leading the wave right now because honestly, R&B groups. They're like non-existent. It's not like non-existent. So you guys are like leading the wave, leading the trend when it comes to that. Like, of course, back in the day, there were plenty of groups that came through. So when it comes to that, how does that make you guys feel knowing that you have an opportunity to really like lead the wave? Growing up, we always listened to R&B. So like, we grew up to like groups like The Temptations, The just um, a lot of but like the temptations is the group the group that really got us into doing music mm -hmm. so like we grew up to that type of music so that's the music we love that's the music we continue and that's also like one of the that's also yeah. one of the good things about uh like having sunny as a manager because he he's always he's been in the game for a long time working mm -hmm. with all these r&b groups he works with everybody you know mm -hmm. so having him and his his, his knowledge he's putting up giving, he's giving us his knowledge you know so uh, we just try to implement that in everything we do I see nothing but success and greatness for you guys. Now, when it comes to any collaborations, do you all look to collab with anyone as far as who you want to collab uh, with? Or have you already collabed with some people? Who we want to collab with? Go ahead. Rihanna, Beyonce. Rihanna, Beyonce, Rihanna, Beyonce Drake. Drake. Drake, Bruno. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a couple. Oh, Chris, Chris Brown, Chris obviously. Brown. Everyone. Yeah, What's The you Weeknd. Doing? Yeah, a bunch of people, man. We want to. We got a bucket list. As an army group and as brothers, what do you all look to bring to the table that might be different from other groups beforehand? Um, for me, I, I think a real performance, like uh, entertaining the people, not just like singing the song, but like entertaining the crowd. That's like, I think that's our biggest thing. For yeah. Me. And that's where like uh, Sonny and my dad, like they, they kind of they, they kind of stress that a, a lot uh, when we were rehearsing. There's not a lot of entertainers anymore today, you know? So we, uh, we try to bring that entertainment factors our performances. Yeah. Not just getting on stage and you know what I'm saying, you just hear a song. Same thing you can hear like right. you listen to music. So we want to give you a performance. Mm -hmm. And it's dope because even with the virtual um live that you all had recently, were there a giveaway that you guys gave away to some fans or was there an opportunity for giveaways, man? Mm-hmm. And so we gave away uh merch. So we have we have a uh, custom t shirts and the uh, hoodies we gave away for uh, you know what I'm saying lucky fans. You got y'all can go check out the merch on our website. And okay. Show too. Thank you guys so much for giving us the opportunity to speak with you guys. You guys have some stuff going on that is major. I, I peeped it. I've seen it. So I can't wait to see more from you guys. And we appreciate y'all for having us, you know, yeah. giving us this platform and having this conversation. So appreciate that. And make sure y'all get our single, Lady In My Life. It's on all platforms. Watch the music video. It's on our YouTube channel again. It's called Pink Trail. And yeah, man. Oh, no. I got you on my mind ever since you changed my life. Girl, you're all I need more. I'll never creep your side, I'll never leave. You don't need to search. <laughs> Now, we just had an amazing time speaking with an amazing R&B group by the name of Pew Trail and the man with a plan who was supporting them all the way as the road manager and manager when it comes to the music, the legendary Sonny Metcalf. How you doing, Sonny? Hey, how's it going, Draco, man? How you, how, you, how you feeling? I'm feeling great, man. It's an honor to speak with you. What was it in Pew Trail that was different from other groups that you may have seen before that made you want to invest? Well, i tell you the... the, the uh, Two biggest things real quick was, uh, I've always known them, their family, they're like part of my family. I've known their dads and their uncles since they were little babies, you know, little kids, and their dad was in a group I had. Their dad came to St. Louis a few years ago and said, Sonny, my boys want to sing and dance. They watched The Temptation. They said they want to do that. They were staying at a hotel. And I came and checked them out at the hotel. They sang a couple of songs for me. I asked them to leave the room. I told their dad, are you serious? I said, it's going to take a lot of work. I don't know. But... Uh, let me think about it. So I went home. I called him about a half an hour later. Said, "You know, Don Juan. At that time, I was teaching music for the St. Louis Public Schools. Mm. I said that if I can take some kindergartners in September and have them singing in a concert by December, I could do something with your boys." And so that's what adhered me to them. But it's been a a a, a, a long a lot of things happened in the meantime. But the thing that really makes me feel so good about them was their passion. 
They work hard. They love what they do. They enjoy what they do. You don't have to tell them it's time to rehearse. You don't have to tell them it's time for whatever. They take it upon themselves to put their schedule together. Uh, it's, it's a job to them. They treat it like a job. Uh, last year, I realized that, you know, something after I went through a few things with a couple of artists, I think it's time for me to focus on the group that I started with, you know? Yeah. And, and I show them some love. And that's what made me feel bad. That why, why did I ignore these kids? Well, of course, I was in St. Louis. They were in California. So it wasn't easy to be with them all the time. But, hey, I'm a retired teacher now. I can be anywhere I want to be when I want to be there and stay as long as I need to. They are very talented. And I really enjoy them. And what you see, what people see them now, didn't always exist. We've had some professionals come in and help them along the way. I enjoy being around them. And, uh, they are a great, great bunch of guys. You know, I'm very respectful. So with you trail, Sonny, like I said, you've been in the industry, you know the ins and outs. What are some things that you want to make sure that you keep them aware of? What are some things that you want to make sure they never lose sight of when it comes to their journey uh, to reach their goals? Family, that, that, that's it. If you don't remember nothing else, remember family, you know? Okay, so let's get to you, man, the legend, the legend himself. What made you even want to tap back into uh, this type of industry? Like I said, you've done a lot of things in the past. You've done some amazing things with some amazing artists. Um, so how did that passion resurge within you? Uh, what were some things that drove you to jump back into it? Well, you know, it, it never left. Seemed like every time I thought well, I was out of it, I found out I still had some unfinished business. There and before go. I could finish that, then next thing you know, I was on top of it. And it's sometimes hard for me to say no, you know, because there are so many young artists out there that uh, need some advice and need some help. And uh, I don't know at all, but I know enough of it and I, I can fill in some blanks. And what I don't know, I know people who do know and I can turn artists on to some of the people I've been blessed to work with that, that know how to get the job done. But it, it all comes back to the artist. The artist has to have the drive. Your artists, I could talk about you all day, but if you get up on the stage, you got to deliver. When you And the, the preparation is everything. I always tell the young artists, you don't get paid to perform. No artists get paid to die to perform. They get paid to prepare. Those that prepare mm -hmm. well, get paid well, and they're the ones that get called back. And uh, you're finding that out. Uh, so again, like I said, it's, so that's what I really was never out of it. I tried to take a back seat. I still am taking the back seat, helping some young uh, managers and stuff, you know, navigate through the system. But uh, I had an artist last year. I said it was going to be my last, but then I realized, wait a minute, how can I, I can't, how can they be my last when, I, when the first kids I made a commitment to, you know, uh, the first kid act now. I so I've never worked with kid acts. A lot of people don't know that. Just when I started with the uh, Project X was the first time I worked with kid acts. I had groups okay. like Show and Tell, Guess. These were all young men and different things like that. Then I've toured with various artists. If the music found me, I didn't find it. Mm. And I can tell by how you're moving right now, man. You always on the go, Sonny and me. We just wanted to make sure that we checked in with you because you are that support system when it comes to Q Trail. And of course, with you backing them, I'm, pr I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be success on the horizon real soon. Man, life's great. You know, with this COVID, it made a lot of people realize how what the important things are in life and stuff like that. So again, I appreciate you guys, Andre Holman, and I appreciate you guys for, you know, taking an interest in the food trails because they, they are good, good guys. And there are a lot of wonderful artists in St. Louis that I wish well. And they all know that they, I'm just a phone call away. If it's in my power to help any of them, I will. If I need to make a telephone call for them, you know, some of them, if I got a couple of bucks that they needed some help getting somewhere, getting something done, if it's within my power, I'll make sure it get done. So once again, make sure that you follow Q Trail, the RB group at official Q Trail on all social media platforms. Until next time, I'm Draco. This is Show Me the Music. Peace and love.